Should we talk about some standout players then? Yeah, I mean, I got a couple on my mind. I mean, listen, Alex Mawil, uh, Tom Barlow. Uh, <laughs> was that not I'm what you su- meant? <laughs> I'm super glad that Tom Barlow was getting minutes in League's Cup. Good, good. Stoked about that. Do you have any, like, real? Yeah, yeah, players? I do, actually. And it actually was going to tie to my original scarf, uh, which was going to be Minnesota. But uh, Dane St. Clair making 16 saves against Nikoxa. Nikoxa. That, I believe... I'm, uh, I'm going to keep looking it up just to be Probably. sure. Someone will tell you if you pronounce it wrong yeah. still. Nekaksa. It's a, it's a sa, not a, not a cha. So hopefully our friends will, will be happy there. But uh, Minnesota in that game pulls out the one nothing win. I believe they were down a man for a good majority of that game. 70 minutes, I think. Yes, yes. And yeah, Baka, I feel bad. Hugo Bakarash might be, uh, might be our uh kip keller this year i was so hyped to see this dude play and he's been really poor <laughs> so that's you gotta curse bad. somebody you always gotta curse somebody. i would say i got it but yeah i mean sat in they had 14 i think they said 16 saves but they're only 14 shots on target so the numbers may vary but yeah dude dude stood on his head and and easily one of the, the standout performers of this first couple of games there are tons more to go through but um yeah I, I'm going to be going with a lot of goalkeepers, so I don't know if you've got non-goalkeepers, but go right ahead. Oh, dude, I, I, I definitely wanted to... The whole reason I wanted to do this was to shine the light on Dane Sinclair because he has gone insane. Not only in the uh, Nikoxa game, but he also was insanely good against Seattle, too. He made eight more saves in the Seattle game, including a penalty save, and not in, like, the penalty shootouts, like, during right, the game. In, in regular time, yeah, I remember yeah. that. See, he, he's got... At least twenty-two saves out of two games. That's a, that's twice the amount of saves that Andre Blake has in the entirety of MLS so far this season. And, and I know Blake's only played seven games, but he Dane Sinclair has doubled his saves in two games versus that is crazy. Blake seven. It's insane. Uh, he's gone absolutely nuts. I mean, he is clearly the reason that they even have a shot at the next round right now. But Dane's so weird, where he goes like. Mm-hmm. long periods where he's like totally under the radar like just kind of like part of the course and then he has these spurts where he just goes absolutely insane as the best goalkeeper on the planet clearly this was one of those spurts yeah i'm uh, just glad it wasn't against red bull that's usually what happens is goalkeepers get really good as soon as i, I do remember that one game he had against red bull i can't yes. remember if that was this year or if that was it last was last year. year he went nuts against yeah red bull. don't don't remind me i don't need any of that nonsense I would love uh, to remind you. Uh, I will give a shout out uh, for a, a player that's done well in Marcel Ruiz. Um, and I'm doing this because I'm patting myself on the back because I believe he was my player to watch for that. <laughs> but he scored two goals in their opening game against Chicago. And it's put them in prime position, I think, to to move on to the next round. Um, obviously, that depends on the results of the SKC game. But uh, I thought he did really well. He also had... One key pass, uh, 54 touches, and I mean, I, I guess the two goals is really the main point. But yeah, I think he's done well so far. Yeah, uh, I'll stick in the Liga MX side and shout out another goalkeeper from Tijuana, Jose Antonio Rodriguez. LAFC beat the snot out of Tijuana um, statistically. I mean, they just... Yeah, I mean, they had 20 shots, 10 on target with 31% possession. Yeah, it's yeah. Like every they, time they had the ball, they were just wrecking them. Well, that was the thing. Tijuana had the ball, had the ball, had the ball, and they were like, they did the same thing. Like, bet, give me the ball, and oh, Denny Bowanga out in thirty yards of space. Here you go. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I put it out there. I was like, yeah, maybe, just maybe, you might want to change your tactics. Oh, wait, you can't. Your coach has been sent off for trying to fight <laughs> the entire referee crew. Forgot about that. Um, it all comes full circle. Yeah, so you, you you've done this to yourself. Yeah, but but that was it, and, and you know they lost three nothing, and Bawanga had a goal. But realistically, this game could have been six, seven, eight, nine, because he was just unreal. He looked really, really good, and they're out. They're they're done. They're over. Their their tournament's done. But he was really, really impressive to me, and I wouldn't be shocked if he carries that into to next you know the next couple of games in the. Apertura because he, I mean, I, I remember watching. I was like, "Oh my god, 
he's done it again. He's done it again. He's done it again. Like the game genuinely by halftime should have been five nil. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean he's he's a seriously talented player. A big mistake to let him just cook in space. Definitely need to. I think you need to work your whole tactics around this guy at this point. Yeah, uh, defensively. One more player I will give my shout out to. Uh, I'll go with the Vander, who I think has had a really, really, really good season for Portland so far. So much better than last year. He's bounced back really well, and I think he is a massive reason behind this Portland success in the attack. And I think he was more so the reason in this tournament as well. He had three assists across the two games, a major part as to why Portland was able to score six goals, win both games, and top their group with the maximum amount of points. I think he's had a really good season, and so far he's continued it right into League's Cup, hasn't missed a beat. No, no disagreements there. I think I think he's been really, really solid for them. The other player that I kind of just have enjoyed watching, he hasn't had the ton of success that you would expect so far, though his group was tougher. Um, I got to watch Marcelo Flores last night, the Tigres winger who came out of the, like, he was in the Arsenal Academy. Uh, this guy was between Canada, Mexico, and United States, could play for all of them, and he picked Mexico. That dude was so much fun to watch on the ball, man. I mean, he was going up against Miami's defense. And I, every time I looked up, if he got the ball into space, it was like going up against – because Jordi Alba was so withdrawn. I mean, they pulled one of their center backs over, like Kristov, or uh, on the other side, it was like, why we not? Why not? And my goodness, this dude just had his had a field day with him. He just torched every single one of them. So just excited to watch him again because he was just a lot of fun. For sure. All right. 